Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is JTM Plays, and we're playing some more indie games. Today, we're going to be trying out Foundation. Foundation is a pretty old game. This game released back in 2019, and uh, it's just a fun little uh, relaxing city builder. You can just sit back and watch your city grow. Uh, you do have to, it does get a little bit complicated with uh, with, with population management and resource management. And then there's also a little bit of combat within the game. You have to send your, your soldiers out. You don't, it's not, you know, it's not an RTS, but it is, it is, it, it has some aspect of, of, of combat. Uh, today we're going to be trying out the game. Like I said, it's a very, it's an, it's an old game. It's been in early access since 2019 and it's now 29, 20, 24 and still in early access but nevertheless still a fun game so let's jump right in let's jump right in let's try out the game uh, let's see what it has to offer in 2024 what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick i'm going to do a map generator let's let's randomize it let's randomize the map uh, and this looks like a good map it's got a lot of water for fishing uh, and it's a little bit mountainous let's the let's see if we can flatten it out a little bit let's not get too many slopes too many mountains how about that that looks good that looks good nice little starting area there and let's confirm let's jump right in start the game so i mean we'll probably go through the tutorial in this video and see everything that it has to offer i think that is our best bet so here we go after a long journey through throughout the realm your people finally reach new lands your lands territories you will be asked to settle for reasons of your own your village awaits your command they are eager to advise your first steps if you require so Thank you. Yes, let's do. Let's go through the tutorial. So, your first territory. The first piece of advice comes from the eldest from the eldest of your villagers. He suggests that you consider basic needs when when settling down: berries for your people, stone and wood for your construction efforts. The rest will find its way. Let's put this advice into practice. Cool. So, I'm guessing when they're talking about stones it's this when they're talking about berries it's this and then all the wood so i think that we need wood in order to start right but i'd like to start close to the water yeah so it'd be like over here somewhere or i can't build there i guess but it may be this area right here and then we can move into fishing later on can't buy any of this land here okay so maybe this is the best starting zone right here then we can expand this way Let's try that. Let's try that. We can choose either or. I want to choose this one. Closer to the water, right? There we go. Okay. So, we have bought the piece of land. Now, we need to place a village center. So, we can click on build here. Choose a village. And we'll put, put it right in the middle right here. And select build. And there we go. All right. So, now we have a population of 10. Sweet. Uh, 10 people to do our bidding. What is the next step here? So advice, organization of work. Uh, we don't have any quests. Okay. Your people would like to help you settle down. Select this. Uh, the second piece of advice comes from a young enterprising villager. Rather than simply letting everyone fend for themselves, she suggests you organize laborers in workplaces. Builders in their workshop, woodcutters in their, in their lumber camp, berry gatherers, at their hut and so on okay all right let's try the next thing so a builder's workshop a builder's workshop is needed too for builders right that is for our builders there we go what's the next thing that we need reach a population prosperity of 500 okay these seem to be achievements uh, but we need to follow the next quest assigning a builder okay here we go so we don't have any builders let's assign a builder one builder Okay, uh, the next thing we need is a lumber camp. This lumber camp will be placed down over here next to the trees, I would guess. And boom. All right, now the builder will build that. Let's add another builder there. Sweet. All right, what's the next thing? Is it just complete the lumber camp? All right. Please complete the lumber camp, guys. What's, uh, what's the holdup? Go and do the thing. There we go. Okay, it doesn't look like we have much re as far as resources. We get 25 wood. We got tools 25 tools 20 cloth and 10 berries that's not a lot but it should be okay now once the lumber camp is built i believe we'll get our next quest okay let's speed up time let's go let's go times three yeah that seems like the 
best thing to do. Now, lumber camp is built. Uh, we need to assign workers. Let's do, let's do two workers there. But I believe that we first, we need to assign extraction. Extraction, yes. So we need to extract wood. So we need to paint the area in which we will want to extract the wood from. So it's going to be all this area right here. And once that is filled in, our woodcutters will start cutting wood. So that is that is good. That's good. Okay. Sweet. Now, uh, gathering food. Okay, that's our quest. So I believe now we need to build a gathering hut. Yes, here we go. All right, here are the berries that we will gather from. So let's put this down and build. Only requires 10 wood, so that's very cheap. That's very cheap. Our builders will start building and voila we are good to go okay we'll need to we'll need to assign workers here as soon as that's built let's put one berry man or one berry woman to the job there we go okay we're cutting wood and we are we are yeah there we go we have a lot of wood we have 63 now uh, and no cloth and 10 berries let's see if our berries goes up uh we have a gatherer here we have two of them actually. Let's see if they can. Let's let's get three of them. Let's get three of them. Or do we need to assign? Look, reforestation actually. So if you're cutting this area here, I would also like you to replant this area here. I think that is something that these guys can do, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Erase that. And we do we need to extract berries? Yeah. There we go. We we do need to assign berry extraction there so there you go uh, that is stone extraction there as well cool all right what's the next thing needs and happiness now that you have organized your laborers you can see their needs and happiness make sure they have access to fresh water and housing as for food you will first need people to store and distribute the berries they collected okay from there your village will have everything Everything to welcome its first wave of immigrants. Great. Let's put this advice to practice. Uh, so what do we need to do now? We need to build a stonecutter camp. Okay. All right. Boom. Stonecutter's camp requires two tools and 10 wood. Bye. Wait, did I, did I just, did I just speed buy that or what, what happened there? Why did I have to buy that? Or was it build? Maybe I misread. Anyways, there you go. And we'll put some workers down. We have how many laborers? We have 10. Uh, how many? Uh, why is there only one person working here? Is that, is that true? Is that true here? We have two berry gatherers. Uh, we should have three. Yes. Okay, good. Let's remove one. Yeah, let's remove berry gatherer. Let's do this. Yeah, there you go. We want to, we want to be able to have enough people for all jobs here so we'll do two two and two and then we'll probably do also two builders for now i don't think we need more than that uh, the next thing is going to be a granary so this granary is where we're going to store our food right let's put it next to the center of town how about right over here and yes build so we need stone for that and we're gathering stone now and then 15 wood which we do have uh, so these guys are mining our stone. Uh, this person over here is lumbering away. He's actually got 50 wood in storage here that needs to be brought over. So, okay, here is here is the the granary to store our food. We can prioritize. We can we can priority build. That's great. What we don't have right now is housing. This is a forester camp versus a forester's. What is this? Forester's camp versus a forester's. Plants, trees, and reforestation zones. Okay, all right, so we do need this guy. So I'm going to put this right here next to the forester itself. The camp versus... Okay, the camp, build the camp versus the lumber camp. Okay, all right, so we're getting spread thin here. We need more stone. No, actually, we have the stone, so we need, we need the builders to build. Uh, and we need... What else do we need here? The workshop, the granary, the forester, the lumber stone cutter and the gathering hut so i mean i think that's all it's all that we need uh, is there music i would love to see if i can hear some music here but there it doesn't how about that okay all right good good all right so now the granary is built cool we need a transporter so let's select one transporter i don't think we need two wood cutters we seem to be doing fine with the amount of wood that we have 
uh, berries. We have a lot of berries as well. So in this game, you have to assign. Okay, hold on. Advice. Accumulating food. Let's accumulate. Let's let's look at the uh, let's look at the tutorial here. Uh, accumulating food. I have. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to make sure the berries are stored for later use. Okay, so I, I do need to assign berries to this, and then we'll be we'll be storing berries here and accept. Yes, accept berries. Stock maximum empty stock. Okay, cool. All right, defining residences. So now I have to define residences. I have to decide where my people are are going to build their houses. So buy a new territory. Let's buy a new territory then. Okay, we can buy, buy, buy. Where do we want to buy? Do we want to buy this? I mean, this one is free, right? So should we buy near the water? Can our, can our, can they even get to the water yet? Unless I go this way. I think that would be the best bet for us, right? But then maybe not. Let's get this one here. And can we buy this one? It costs 125. We have 100. And, yeah, we have 500. Cool. Let's buy that. And then let's also buy, I don't know, I guess we could buy this one as well. And all right, cool, cool. Bought three pieces of territory. Now, uh, my first ex extraction zone, your first extraction zone, the planting tool allows you to use a parcel of land for different purposes, like wood cutting, farming, or housing. You can also restrict access to it. Resource storage, storing food in granary or materials in a warehouse allows their distribution to the village. Cool. And painting houses. So I guess now I have to go in here and paint where my people can live. So if I want to make this a bigger brush size, okay, I can hold control as well and use the scroll. So I'm going to make, I'm going to allow housing in this area like this. How about that? How's that? think that satisfies our needs right there you go they're starting to build houses that's great and then we need to more villager needs okay so show the zoning areas visibility layer optional where is the zoning area visibility okay cool zoning resource storage storing food and granary materials a warehouse of also distribution to the village okay that's good and in painting houses i've completed all that so what i'm doing is this okay now that everyone is settling down i have to make sure all the needs are fulfilled so all right we have that so we need to build a well let's build a well we're getting houses built all over the place here but i'm going to build a well a well here okay that's seems like the the middle of town that's good okay all right so once the well is built i need to build a market okay let's build a market let's put the market where do we want to put the market? Maybe right over here in the center of town. Yes. And let's put a food stall. Let's put a food stall here. And let's put a tent. How's that? Perfect. Let's build that. Cool. Cool. Okay. So now that's being built. Okay. Good thing we have builders that are free. How many villagers that are unemployed? One villager that is unemployed. And we're at 8% happiness because we don't have food and we don't have water. But that will be resolved soon does does everyone have okay look now now we're getting houses constructed in the area so does everyone have enough undesirable neighborhood okay people don't want to live around the mine okay beautification fertility okay we've got very fertile lands minerals where are minerals there's some minerals here i guess and then anywhere else we have to go to the mountains we have to go very far for minerals okay that's going to be that's going to be trouble for us let's turn this off let's turn off the zoning let's turn off the territory boundaries actually we can keep that on and construction previews yeah i'll keep that on okay all right for the next thing uh market tender so we need to assign a market person here now we don't have any free unemployed people and then assign berries to the market i would indeed assign berries to the market let's assign berries here okay so we'll need a market and a stall for every single item i guess that we can sell but i think this satisfy this satisfies all the needs here raise happiness of your village to 75 they do have everything they need now except for housing and food but we do have a plenty of food so what is the problem? Why don't you have enough food? 
why don't you have enough food, man? You guys should be good on food and housing. There's enough, plenty of space for you to build your houses. Okay, that looks like it's enough housing. That's great. What do we need? We have a ton of berries here. We only have one transporter, by the way. Okay, we are planting... No, we don't have anyone planting trees, which we don't really need right now, right? That's fine. Let's take a look at what's next here. Advice, profiting from trade. So, a business-minded villager suggests you establish a trade route with your closest neighbor, Northbury. This will let you sell resources for profit and buy the ones you can't produce. You should start with planks since Northbury needs those. Let's put this advice into practice. Okay, so now let's build a sawmill. Where do we want to build a sawmill? So it's got to be like over here, right? We want to put it next to the wood. Yeah, let's put it next to wood here. How about up here? And let's build that, please. Uh, did we just get new people? Are these guys new to town? Yes, they are. We can we can click on that, and then the, now they're sweet. All right, so now we have some more workers. Let's add a forester. Let's add a forester. That seems that's good. Let's add. What else did we need? Do we need another market person? No. What do we need? I think it's the forester that we need to start planting trees, and then we'll also need a person working at the sawmill. So we should be covered. Right? We should be covered for everything that we need. Building a warehouse. The warehouse, I have to ensure construction materials are stored for workers and traders all like. Okay. Acquire a warehouse in the book. Progression tab. Build a warehouse and assign planks to the warehouse. The book. Progression. Buildings. Resources. Economy. Progression. Here we go. I guess we want to unlock this, right? Warehouse. Oh, okay. These cost gold. Which we do have. We have 193. Let's unlock fishing as well. Maybe butchering. And some decorations. We don't need bridges. I don't... Yeah, we don't need bridges. And we don't need to decorate right now. And then we have army. And a log. And we have a bunch of villagers. This is great. Okay. And then the buildings. I can manage building from here. All right. So we need a person working at the sawmill. And everything's working fine. Okay. All right, I think I think we're looking good. Did we get more visitors? Here comes, yeah, here come a bunch. There, there they are. They're coming. They are coming, and they're coming from way down there. Sweet. Do we need more room for housing? A hunting zone. Well, look at that. Okay, so we can hunt. Let's hunt. Let's hunt here. Let's hunt in the forest. I guess we can only hunt where we're not cutting down. So we can put a hunting zone over here. We're not cutting down these trees right now. So this will be our hunting zone. That seems good. Let's cancel, let's cancel this. Yeah, let's cancel this here. Cancel. So we are extracting. Yes, we are extracting all of this. Extract, extract, extract. While at the same time, we are restoring. Restore, restore, restore all of this wood as well. Good. A hunting zone will be over here. So that means we need to get more villagers. These guys, one, two, and three, I'll take those. Cool. Let's get a hunting cabin and also a warehouse. Let's not forget about the warehouse. So we need a warehouse and we need to assign planks to it, right? Yes. Let's put the warehouse there and let's build and boom. And then we also need a hunting hunters. Okay, let's put you down here and build. We have three people which is perfect, okay? So immigration is average. That means people want to come to our, our our village. They want to move in with us. What we don't have is that many tools. We need to start, we need to start making tools. We need a butchery as well. Let's put you down here next to the hunter's cabin, build as well, okay? So that's one, two, and three more workers that we'll need there. And we're looking good as far as materials. Okay, this guy will need to... We can assign meat, right? And boar. Would, we, would I assign boar? I don't think so. I don't think so, right? Maybe, maybe I should. And then also fish. So that's everything in the granary as far as food. That looks good, right? We have a fisher fishing dock, which we can put over here, right? Invalid position. Part of the building must be in the water. Okay. We have more people. We have more visitors. Nice. 
Okay. All right. So now we have four extra workers. Do we need to, do we need more builders? That's the question. I don't think it's necessary, but yeah. Okay. We have carpenters. So we're making planks, uh, build a warehouse and okay. We have that. And then what, but we wanted to assign planks to the warehouse. Okay. All right. So we need to get this built. Uh, we're waiting for a builder. Maybe I should add another builder here. If we're building things that quickly. We'll get more people coming in soon, I hope. We also need to start building tools. That would be a good start. Can we speed things up a little bit more? We cannot. No active effects. Uh, let's prioritize this build, please. Let's hurry on up. I'd like to move. I'd like to move on with the tutorial, if possible. Okay. Can we do more research? Uh, no workers assigned to the hunter's hut. Let's assign one there. Let's assign a transporter to the warehouse. And then we need a worker at the butchery. Yes, we do. Okay. All right. Trade routes. We don't have, right? We don't have trade routes. This village, Northbury, wants planks. And that is, that is actually good. We're, we're making planks. We don't have 20 yet, but we will be making planks. Budget, negative 57 last month. Okay. All right. That's a problem. This month, we're at negative two. And let's... Okay, we have to get prosperity level 20 in order to increase. So we need commerce, we need population, splendor, and beautification, which you don't have. And that's fine. That's fine. Well, let's let's continue here. Let's get some more people in. How are we doing for food? Or do we have enough food? We have, we have boars. We have boars. We have no meat yet because our butchery isn't built. But we do need to assign resources here. So we're going to assign planks. We're going to assign tools here. We're going to assign cloth. And we're going to assign uh, wooden lumber. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'd like to make another warehouse for wooden lumber. That would probably be a good idea. Can I? I cannot. I cannot upgrade. I cannot upgrade the warehouse, right? I can't. Okay. Let's get another warehouse. Uh, this one will be specifically for wooden lumber. Wood and wood and stone, I think. Let's put you down over here next to this one, right? Yeah, let's build that there. We'll get another transporter and we should be fine. Wood and stone, right? Yeah. Okay, let's build, let's build this one. Planting, uh, planting a trade route. Let's, let's, okay, let's work on the trade route. So I have to prepare a trade route to benefit from exchanges with neighboring villages. So unlock a trade route to trade planks. Allow the sale of planks from the trade resources tab. So I am going to here. Am I unlocking this? Okay, I need 20 planks in order to unlock it. Where is okay, first I need to unlock this, I guess. I need to I need to generate 20 planks, which I'm not generating because I am missing what? Am I missing a lumber? I have a forester and he's working hard. A sawmill. There's 16 logs here. Okay, let's work. Let's let's upgrade that, and let's get another. Let's get another woodcutter here. Let's get another woodcutter, right? Uh, yes. Okay. This needs 15 planks. Okay, so that's where that's where all of our planks are going, and completely understand. Let's see. Can I buy more territory? No. This costs. 125 we are actually in the negative here do we need to take a look at what's going on here collapse all expand all we are spending too much money on what construction territory we are spending a lot of money on territory so we bought too much territory from the start that is that was our problem right that's one of our issues so let's go ahead and can we sell territory i don't think we can anymore we just kind of have to wait it out and let our let's let our let's let our village here progress yes i think that's uh, that is our best bet we also have to set up more market stalls because now that we have let's build another stall hold could what hold shift how do i rotate left click select left click drag vertical arrows to rescale a party apart vertically okay now hold on that's not what i want to do hold shift and left click to place building part to keep selecting hold control okay there you go control so it would go this way this is another market stall that i'm going to place right over here with a market tent and then another market stall that i'm going to place over here and that will be selling other items uh, and we have more workers good 
Okay. So this guy right here, let's build build both, right? Okay. Well, do we need one? We need more than one market tenders. I hope not. Waiting for builder, waiting for builder, waiting for builder. All right. We should have all the materials needed except for cloth. Yeah. We're probably not going to have enough cloth to build this. I should not have built, let's see, parts list, berries, assign a resource. Let's do meat. And this guy will also assign a resource here. Okay. The tent was probably not necessary, right? So we're going to be missing the cloth. Now that's going to be a problem for us because we can't get any cloth yet. Okay. We do have the planks too. So let's, let's open up this market. Let's do, uh, let's do some trading. We are selling planks. Sell to them planks. Yes. Okay. So how do, now how do we trade? I'd like to trade clothing produces wool and then also put, and then produces cloth. So I do, I need this good army and logs. Okay. That's not probably not a thing that I should be worried about right now. How do we have people here? Yes. Okay. Let's do, let's do a butcher. Let's get a person on the market. One there and another market tender. Sure. Okay. We are hemorrhaging money. We have zero money. Where's this guy going? This, this was a trader. Did we not trade? Okay. I guess we missed him. Allow the sale of planks from the trade resource tab. Where is the trade resource tab? Buildings, resource, trade resource. Okay, here we go. So stockpile, track, sell all of the above. Is it here? Is it, this is where we know. What is, what is, what is the option? What are we doing here? Resource. And we would like to stockpile prevents villagers from using stored resources. No favorite a sell. We want to resource not available to buy. Unlock a trade route that has them to offer. Okay. Sell all above value. Oh, I see. Okay. So we always want to have what 20 in stock. Is that, is that how this works? We want to have 20 in stock and we can sell the above. Does that make sense? Yeah, that might make sense. Okay. Now we should be good. Let's get some more workers. Good. Nice. All right. So we need to actually paint more housing. Let's do that over here. And also this way like this. Cool. All right. All right. Nice. Okay, so what's next? What are we looking at here? A sheep farm. A sheep farm is actually what we need for wool, right? So let's put this over here. Sheep farm ready to build. And we can't build it because we don't have we don't have gold coins. That's fine. Okay. The manor house. Come come to you a lighthearted woman announcing she and her folks would like to thank you for your hard work. It's sure that you've made great strides already. To administrate the to administrate the village, she suggests you build a manor house and a great hall. This will let your that's, this will let you enact mandates. Let's put that into use. So, we are wanting to build an admin manor house. Where are we building our manor house? Is it going to be by the beach? It probably should be by the beach, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe that's a good spot for the manor house. Let's put, just put it over here at a sub building. We will run to build a great hall, which is going to be this. And we'll put that over here. And then we need a rustic tower like this. And what is this interactive visitor location? We'll put that over here and we need a door. We'll put the door on this side over here. Yeah. And a chimney. Sure. Anything else? No, let's build. All right, the rustic hall and all, all of its goodies. Okay, there you go. All right, nice, we're doing the thing. This is a trader. Okay, the trader's coming by. He's picking up the planks. Is he picking up the planks that we are selling? Okay, what do we have here? We have a tailor's workshop, we have a weaver's hut, and we have a sheep farm. So the sheep farm is gonna be built over here. All right, build, build that, please. Uh, and then we need a weaver's hut, which is gonna be built there, and we don't have money for. Uh, and then we also need the tailor's workshop, which will be there. And we don't have money for that either. But on top of that, we will also need a warehouse to store our wool and in the market to sell our goods. Now let's make sure that we accept all these welcome, all these people. We have six people not doing anything right now, which we can assign to do some stuff for us. Maybe we will assign another forager 
another transporter here, another butcher. How about, how about we save the rest to do, to do some stuff like sheep herding and stuff. Yep. Cool. All right. This is being built. This is not being built yet because we don't have the gold. And this is also not being built yet because we don't have the gold. Um, I think that we need to assign more trading. So we have a bunch of berries. We can, we can say we want how many berries sell all above value. Okay. Let's do, uh, let's do, let's keep a hundred in stock at all times. Let's sell boars as well. We don't have any boars actually. Let's sell meat. Uh, we want to keep 30 in stock. Uh, we don't have fish either, but we do have, we do have planks. Are we, are we selling planks? I don't know. Yeah. We're not by, let's make sure that we always have 20 in stock here and then we're good. Right. Are we good now? Okay. Mandates. We have mandates now because we have the manor. So discuss a levy with your, with your villagers, promote villagers to higher status, open list, discuss my Lord. Here's a list of mandates with your bailiff. Oh my God. Look at all these people that want to come live here. Uh, cool. Okay. Discuss and uh, you summon the people at the great hall to discuss a potential le levy. Uh, the villagers don't look too happy about giving away their hard earned coins, but you know, they will pay if they have to, it has to be done. Yes. We need gold. Okay. Nice coins levied. Your villagers reluctantly delivered a you a large number of coins. Happiness bonus of negative 30. Ooh, ouch. But we gained 93 coins. Sweet. Okay. Promote villagers. Pay to promote. Okay, I think we're good here. All right. Yeah, so call off promotions. We're not promoting anyone right now. Cool. All right. That brought our happiness down way low. That was that was bad. That was bad. But we can now build this. Okay, let's build and build. And then we want to get a shepherd. We want to spawn sheep. Let's spawn. Yeah, let's spawn sheep here. Please remove one. Remove what? Remove the sheep? No, I want... I want many sheeps. I want many sheeps. We have a raw resource here. Let's do, we have, yeah, we have room here for wool, right? And we can do also common clothing. What about this warehouse? What can we do here? I mean, that might be it, right? I guess, I guess maybe I should make another warehouse over here. All right, let's, uh, let's get this, let's get this done. Let's get a warehouse done. And then we're going to assign all the tailoring stuff out here. Whoa, look at all these sheep already. Okay, that's good. All right. And we have new villagers, which is great. We'll probably need another market to be built. Actually, I'm going to sell not fish here. Probably not fish. Let's accept these guys in. Yeah. And let's, can we build any of this yet? We can't. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. Uh, anyway, okay, no, no, I can't remove it yet, but I can remove this A resource that we can assign here would be something like, okay, we don't have anything to assign yet, but that is fine. Uh, we're not making money. We're, we're, we're losing, we're hemorrhaging money right now. Are we not? So then are we not selling items yet? Are we not selling? Do we want to sell? We want to sell the planks, right? Sell all of the above. I guess that turns it on and then sell all the berries above 100 also sell boars i guess we're not we're no one's buying boars we can sell meat let's keep 50 meat let's we could sell wool but no one wants it we could sell herbs but no one is we can't we can't herb yet a gold and gold bars okay so we're not there yet we're not there yet at all we need to also unassign cloth from here Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put other items here, probably like planks, tools. Let's do barrels once we have them, and then let's do common wares, I guess. So we don't have the ability to make common wares yet, but we could. This guy, do we have do we have people here? We can't assign a villager. Why? Produces one cloth in exchange for three wool. What is the problem with this? Why can't I select? Okay, unemployed. It, oh, okay. It's got to be a commoner to work here. We don't have commoners yet. Okay. So that is the problem. Okay. All right. Let's add these guys. Let's, uh, let's see if we can promote. Can we promote someone? Mandates here. Okay. We can't promote anyone. No villagers available. Villagers need, must have been met. Okay. Entertainment and goods. We don't have any of that. Okay. We don't have any of that yet. We could, we could do a levy. 
We're getting 36 coins. We're selling berries. We're selling meat. We're not selling planks yet. Okay, which is fine. That is fine. Let's take a look at our needs when it comes to this right here. What do we want to do? Fishing? No, we don't want to do fishing. Village aspirations? No. Okay, this warehouse is built. That's good. Now we're going to assign clothing. We're going to assign wool. And we're going to assign cloth and that's that let's add a transporter here all right so we are removing wool from here uh, refuse stock maximum empty stock okay empty that and also we are going to empty what oh we don't have tools here okay this forester is putting in work he is planting trees yes he is the trader is coming in and he's taking stuff and just going about his business let's take a look at let's take a look at our book again that's our budget. This is our buildings. We need, I mean, could I get another miner? I don't think we need stone. We could get another carpenter. We have plenty of workers. Let's get another transporter to the granary. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's get a, let's remove this, this guy. Let's do two at each. Let's do two at each warehouse like this. And then let's do, we can't do a weaver. Yeah, we can't do a weaver, right? No. Okay. All right. All right, guys, I think I think I'm going to call the episode here. This is actually, you know, it was a it was a fun little episode. I had a lot of fun playing Foundation. This game is super chill. But but yeah, I mean, if I had to rate this game, I'd give it a 8 out of 10. It's super enjoyable. It's not very stressful. Just manage a couple of people here and there. And yeah, I wish I could have played a little bit longer, but I think this is this is good enough. So if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and drop me a comment. Drop me a comment. Get, give me a like and let me know in the comments if you want me to probably continue and do another episode of this of this little foundation game here. I would be more than happy to do so. Let me know in the comments. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.